Hey everybody, welcome to Peppermint and Tobacco, a YouTube channel all about home fragrance including candles. And today I've got a review of Bath & Body Works Rose Water and Ivy, so stay tuned. Thanks everybody for coming on back. If you're new to the channel, I'm glad you're here. Hey, you're in the right place if you like content about home fragrance including candles like candle reviews and candle hauls. I also do other uh, fragrance, home fragrance product reviews, so I'm really glad that you're here. And if you're an old friend, I'm glad that you're joining us on this video today. So um, I'm home after work. I've had a bite to eat, um, and so settling in to enjoy the evening. Going to do a little bit of a homework in just a minute, but wanted to record a quick video about a candle that is quickly becoming a new favorite. So. One of the things that I really enjoy about exploring candles and home fragrances is when I come across a candle or a home fragrance that's really surprising, something that I thought that I might not like or had questions about when I uh, initially smelled it or investigated it or even ordered it, you know, sight unseen, so to speak, without smelling it first. Um, and it, when it knocks me off my feet. And that's been this rose water and ivy candle by Bath & Body Works has been a really nice surprise. Now, those of you who are BBW fans may be like, oh, John, this is old hat. We know about uh, rose water and ivy, but for me, this was a, a, a new find, and I just really enjoyed it. It felt like um, a great candle for spring moving into summer. Here in North Carolina, the roses are blooming right now, and it sort of helped to bring that rose fragrance. And y'all know that Tina Delicious, and I'll put a, a link to his YouTube channel, got me turned on to rose fragrances this spring and so I'm going to blame him for this but um, this um, three wick candle from Bath & Body Works is a little bit of a theme on rose fragrances. It's not exactly a pure rose fragrance, rather it's um, a combination that's really intriguing, has a little bit of rose but we'll talk about it in just a minute. So of course um, the rose water and ivy candle, I'm going to bring it up to you to show you what it looks like. Hopefully the camera will focus and I will hold the um, jar in front of it well. So it's got a nice label there and the label has um, a sticker around it with different uh, kinds of flowers. Uh, some of them look like roses and others of them look like lilacs or different things and then there's like a hibiscus. So it's not a pure rose candle and then the top is one of these new embossed candle tops with sort of a flower image on top. You can sort of see how it makes a flower out of the um, uh, dots and triangles and then of course um, the wrap is a, a sticker wrap um, and then it's a clear glass container and then the candle has three wicks on the inside. This candle has performed really well. You can see there's not a lot of sooting on the sides of the candle jar. It's burned really clean uh, which has been great and oh let me bring it back so you can see it. The candle uh, wax has not discolored or um, become very murky. It's still pretty white. Now, I've burned this candle. Um, it's about two thirds gone. And usually this is when I begin to notice some issues. So I've noticed in the last burn that there's been a little bit, just a little bit of those black swirls that appear, uh, maybe one or two of them. So not a lot. You can see that the wick sort of burned unevenly if you looked at it closely when I was holding it up. Um, and But that may just be because I trimmed it unevenly, so it totally might be user error. But these wicks have performed really well. Of course, Bath & Body Works candles with these three wicks generally perform, perform, generally form a wax pool really quickly, and this candle is no exception. Just having the candle lit off, I'm getting nice fragrance here on cold from this candle. So if you place this candle on an end table or a nightstand, um, even without lighting it, you'll be able to enjoy the fragrance. And that's one of the things I really like about most Bath & Body Works candles is that close up, uh, even on cold, without having the candle being lit, you can enjoy the fragrance. And this candle, when it's lit and has formed a nice wax pool, really provides room filling fragrance for sure. Now, in my experience, the um, intensity and uh, throat of this particular candle isn't as strong or as intense as other Bath & Body Works candles that I've uh, experienced, 
but it's still a really great um, solid medium throw and intensity. So I would give it in terms of throw like a five or six maybe, and then candle intensity, the fragrance intensity is about a five or six, which has made this candle really enjoyable. Sometimes you'll get a candle and the fragrance is so intense that it will run you out of the room. And that's not been the case with this rose water and ivy candle. I've enjoyed burning it here in the kitchen. I've burned it in the living room when I've been hanging out in there and it's just been a lovely candle to have burning. The thing that it makes me think about is that there is a rose bouquet of fragrant roses. So sometimes now at the supermarket and at flower shops you get a rose and it really doesn't have any fragrance. It's sort of uh, void of all fragrance. But those of you who grow roses in your yard or are more familiar with fragrant roses know that uh, roses do indeed have a fragrance and oftentimes it's a nice, sweet, almost a little bit bitter fragrance and it's definitely unique. Um, this rose water and ivy candle has that element of a beautiful rose fragrance and it's got a little bit of powder without getting too grandma and then the ivy note is described as rain kissed ivy and so it has a wetness to the fragrance that is just really inviting. This is a fragrance to me that if it were a personal fragrance, like a body fragrance, I definitely would want to like get closer to that person. And so I uh, really don't shop at Bath & Body Works for uh, personal fragrance or for um, personal products like lotions and such, but um, y'all let me know in the comments if they have this. It's not something that I would wear myself, um, but gosh, you know, if you had a friend or a loved one that wore this, um, it's definitely a snuggling closer fragrance for me. It's definitely a more feminine fragrance uh, if we're you know, going to classify things as masculine, feminine. But for the home, what this is is a fresh, clean floral that is not overly like white and bright and in your face. So one of the drawbacks from other Bath & Body candles like um, uh, Fresh Cut Hydrangea, uh, Casablanca Lily, uh, or even Easter Lily, um, is that the intensity of those white floral fragrance is just can be too much. Um, but this is so approachable and lovely and the flower um, fragrance isn't really discernible. It's not one particular uh, flower. It's a rose, but the rose is nuanced and has some depth. And so I definitely think this candle smells like a candle that is more expensive than the $11.60 that I paid for it when I got it on sale. Uh, I think I got this, or maybe even less. This was one of the buy one, get, buy two, get two hauls that then I got like 20% off. You all are familiar with that um, most recent sale. So awesome price point for this at the sale value. This is a candle that if I didn't know that I could get Bath & Body Works candles for less, that I would consider paying $24.50 for. I just enjoy the fragrance that much. So of course, this is a 14 and a half ounce candle. Bath & Body Works says that you'll get about 25 to 45 burn time hours. It's been burning really well uh, for me. I've stopped like exactly measuring the time. I can sort of tell how long a, a candle will last because I know it will last like a week of days if I come home right after work and, and light it, it should last about a week. And so this one's performing really well. And as I showed you earlier, the um, candle burn has been nice and clean and not a lot of soot or smoke with this candle. Of course, Bath & Body Works candles generally form a complete wax cool and then burn down cleanly without leaving a lot of residue. That's held true for this candle. Haven't seen a lot of those black swirls and the wax isn't murky. So, over, and, and no puny wicks, so the wicks have done really well. So overall, I have had a really great experience with this candle. Um, and I would definitely, y'all, I would buy this one again. I may even haul this one because it's a perfect, like, um, interseasonal candle. There's so many good ones to, to use, though. I, de I think I want to keep this one around for a while. So, you know, next sale, I probably will stock up, I'm turning it this way, on rose water and ivy. I like the garden um, sort of and green notes in it, sort of the outdoorsy green notes. I like the floral complexity. I like that it isn't too intense. I like that it is light and fresh and clean. I like that it can also mask different odors. We have two dogs and sometimes they don't always smell fresh. They're both asleep in their beds right now, right over there. And um, this is a great uh, candle to try to mask or attempt to mask some of um, their less than pleasant um, odors. And I find it really relaxing. So overall, you know, a 10 out of 10 for me on this candle performance, 
What I will do is continue to burn the candle and I'll share it with you in my next empties video. And if I have any like negative comments to say about the candle in the last third of the burn, I really did wait until I had burned through most of the candle before I brought it to you because I have learned by getting burned that <laughs> um, the last part of the candle from Bath and Body Works can really be disappointing, but I think this one is going to be all thumbs up. But I'll let you know in the um, uh, in the empties video uh, when I when I finish this candle. So um, all in all, a great great candle, y'all. I've you know this YouTube channel isn't very old, and I appreciate those of you who have joined me from the very beginning. It's been a, a couple of months, and we're now up to 130 subscribers, which I think is phenomenal. Um, I've really enjoyed it. I've uh, met a lot of folks through your comments and uh, through following me on Instagram. You can follow me um, at Peppermint and Tobacco Insta. So that's my, uh, my Instagram name. Um, but today I stumbled across a YouTube video of a woman named Helen Wyatt, I believe, and I'll put a link to her um, YouTube channel below. This lady is an 81-year-old grandma from the South, and she makes some really interesting um, products, like uh, crafts. Uh, she makes things out of concrete and cement. They're just phenomenal, and then she paints them. But she has super long videos, so it's hard for me to sit down and find the time to watch them all. But she is just so sweet and brilliant. So uh, a couple of things. Leave in the comments below what you think about rose water and ivy. Uh, let me know if there are other candles that you're familiar with that are like rose water and ivy. I would love your advice on where to go to find some other candles that are similar to this. I'm going to add this to um, my War of Roses collection that I promise you is coming. I'm working on a diptyque review too uh, of a different rose candle. And then if you know already about Helen Wyatt and want to uh, share about it with others, leave that in the comments below too. I just or anybody else that you find on um, uh, YouTube that you think is really compelling and has just family-friendly, fun, encouraging, beautiful advice that helps enrich humanity. I just really got a lot out of um, watching parts of her video today. Um, it was just uh, super sweet. So I uh, would love to see more of that on the planet. Thanks everybody for staying tuned. Listen to me ramble here at the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll be back. Um, I'm trying to aim for five videos this week. You think I can do it? You know, I've, I've had a video every day this week. We'll see. Um, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.